Okay, so this is going to be a video of 10 things that annoy me. I have them written down because I'm chewing hot parts. Because there's no way I could memorize all these and remember where I meant and where I put them. So, yeah. Number one, Crocs. No explanation. You should know. Number two, this is especially at my school, people with a messed up collar. So my school, we have uniforms and you have to wear a polo. I am constantly fixing my polo because it'll annoy me if one side is even a little bit curled upward, you know? And I see people walking in the hall with like half collar up, half collar down, and I'm just like, what is your problem? It ain't cute. That is not cute, you know? And, oh, it just bugs me. I don't know the people at my school, so it's not like I can walk up and be like, hey, now I'm gonna fix the collar because your mommy's not in your phone, you know? Alright, number three. People who say, no offense, but. You're saying, no offense, I know you're gonna offend me. You just come out and say it. So if you say, no offense, but. Your hair kind of looks like crap today. And then no offense does not stop the fact that you just told me my hair looks ratchet. You're still saying the thing that is offending me. Putting no offense but in front of it changes none of the fact of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, people who don't understand their annoying even after you tell them that they're annoying. There was a kid at my school who does that. I'm gonna have to relate a lot of things to my school. I tell him to shut up. I call him a douchebag. <laughs> call him an ass. I don't care. Because I really don't like this kid. And I feel that's pretty evident. Somebody tells you to shut up. Somebody calls you a douchebag. Somebody tells you none of us like you. Go away. I'm gonna walk away. This kid's just, he doesn't get it. Some people don't get it. If you, people don't wanna be around you is generally your fault. Number five, people who volunteer to read and cannot pronounce 90% of the words. You, raise your hand, a good little student to read in front of the whole class, and you're stumbling on your words. No, you should read in front of the class if you're confident with your words. Obviously, you're not too confident with your words because you can't pronounce all of them. Like when I see a kid up there and they're just sitting there with their book and they're like, Patently, pa patently, pa patiently, learn your words. We're in English. You speak English. You're a junior in high school. Learn how to read. Number six, girls who say, I'm wearing no makeup. Just because you didn't wash your makeup off last night and reapply this morning, you still have makeup on. I hate, like, I'm wearing no makeup. Hmm. Like, nothing. And then there's those girls that have, like, eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow. I'm holding a pencil. Eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow, and they're like, this is all natural. I can see right through your pancaked face that that is not all natural. Number seven. People who don't wash their face. It goes along with number six. I know several friends of mine who do not take their makeup off at nighttime. I take my makeup off and I still break out. If I wear my makeup overnight, when I wake up in the morning, I have a pimple plantation on my forehead. And then there's my friends who they do too, but they hide it with makeup. But they'll take a shower 
And then if any of the makeup runs off, they wipe it off. But they keep whatever else is on their eyes. Or say at night time, they go to bed. And then when they wake up in the morning, they just put on more makeup over the makeup that got smeared off in the middle of the night. I, personally, ain't about that life. I have to take my makeup off every single day. And I still break out. Okay, this one's like a little serious, but stop grabbing the pencil. A little serious, but a little still like, hmm, annoys me. I see a homeless person with a pet. You can't provide shelter for yourself or food for yourself. Why do you have a dog? You're just setting up that this dog is possibly going to die or run away or get hit by something or get a disease which also goes along with dying and it it hurts me but it annoys me because yeah they shouldn't be allowed to have dogs like maybe you have the dog before you lost your home or before you lost your job i personally would bring my dog i hate saying it to the pound because Somebody can give it a better life than I can. And even at the pound, they get food. You know? Possibly they may die there too, but they'd have a bigger chance of dying with you. Um, number nine. People, mainly guys, who act differently around their friends. So, like, if you have... I'll say with girls first, and I'll go to guys, because we all know what I'm talking about with the guys. With girls, like, you have that one friend who floats around circles like I do personally and they are different around each person like say you're around like I'm around oh, I don't change I can't use myself as an example like if a friend is around girls that play sports or whatever she'll act differently or if she's around one that are obsessed with guys she'll be like oh my god yeah Taylor on are so hot yeah and then when she's around her guy friend, she's just like, chill, I, who I want to be, you know? I don't do that. I'm myself. I'm myself around every single person that I hang out with. And the thing with guys is maybe when they talk to you, they're all romantic and they're all, oh, I love you, you're so pretty, you're so beautiful, you make my world, you're all the stars in the sky, blah, blah, blah. And then they get to their friends who are like, yeah, I fucked the bitch. Like, no, no, you don't do that. You, you're you one person. You don't need to show off to them and then be this guy to try and impress me. You need to be you. I obviously started dating you because of who you were, not who you're going to be with me and with your friends. And number 10, big one oh, people who shove themselves in other people's conversations. Like... I can see if somebody's having a conversation and you slowly walk up and you listen for a little and then you join in. But, say I'm talking and I'm like, oh, hey Shani, no, Shaquilla, I was watching this movie last night and then Betty Sue comes in and she's like, what movie were you watching? get out no you don't do that like honestly it just mm, irks me so yeah those are 10 things that people do that annoy me